Hi everyone, welcome back. I got this orchid for my sister a few months ago. It's a very large white Phalaenopsis orchid. She said that it wasn't in very good condition, so I asked her if she could bring it back to me. I could nurse it back to health or try to. And I'm gonna repot it, actually clean it up a lot. And um, hopefully it'll um, recover. It's gonna go into my orchid hospital. So let's just go over some of the things that I can see. Now it still has a tag on it. So this one looks like sunburn and is quite extensive. There's also some evidence of infection down here too. I'm going to be cutting this one off and I'm actually going to cut off the entire leaf here. It's very extensive. I don't want to keep anything. And this leaf is twisted and it also has burnt, uh, like a bit of a burnt leaf right here. And it also has mealybug infestation. I think this was my fault because uh, these were discounted plants, so I really should have checked them before I got them for her. Maybe they weren't showing the time that I bought it or but it probably is my fault because I didn't know that much about orchids when I bought it for her a few months ago and um, I know more about it now so you can see evidence of infestation here yeah it's pretty bad and let me find you a bug yep there they are moving and being happy. Yeah, a few months ago when I started getting into orchids, I didn't even know what they were, and I thought, oh, they're so fluffy and cute, and I'll just keep them. <laughs> yeah, big mistake. I had one uh, that was showing on my, <laughs> on the orchid, on the discount orchid that I got for myself, and I thought, they're so fluffy and cottony, I'll keep them, and of course, it turned out to be a huge mistake. Anyway, I've learned my lesson from then on. But you can see that they are quite extensive here. So, I feel so bad. I'm just going to cut off the spikes just so that the orchid can recover. And then I'm going to show you the roots. They are not in very good condition. Actually, some of them are in are still in pretty good condition, but I think like if I don't save this orchid right now, it's going to take a turn for the worse. Definitely still has some good roots. I'm going to be cleaning this up entirely. More bugs right there. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And this leaf has pest infestation maybe scales or spider mites at some point. Doesn't seem to be any evidence of it now. So that's good. Otherwise, I think the roots are, are gonna be okay. I'm gonna cut off the dead roots here. I'm gonna clean everything up and then I'm, I'm actually gonna show you how I do it. So here are the tools that I'm gonna be using. I have my shears and my pair of scissors that I'm going to use to cut the leaves. I already put this um, over a flame for about 30 seconds, both of these. I'm also going to be spraying it with alcohol. So this is my alcohol bottle. And the hydrogen peroxide is going to be for um, the whole orchid. I'm just going to spray the entire orchid just to be on the safe side. And then I have this container where I'm going to put my orchids in paper towels and I'm going to be potting it with a coarse bark uh, perlite and charcoal mix and also mix in some sphagnum to keep uh, the moisture. Maybe I'll throw in like a fine bark mix too. Maybe, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to be spraying my uh, tools with alcohol now while I clean up my orchid just to have them sit there for a little bit and the alcohol can get to work. So I put my alcohol in the spray bottle 
That way it's easier for me to spray them. And it gets better coverage. Just gonna do that for my scissors and my shears. And let them sit there for a while. All right, so I have gloves that I'm going to use and then I'm gonna throw them away later. And it's great for uh, repotting because I'm gonna be spraying hydrogen peroxide and alcohol. Right, I'm going to pull this one out of its pot. It's gonna be really hard. Oh, not that hard. Okay, so it has some really good roots. It's, it's all potted in sphagnum. So this leaf, I talked about, it's sunburnt. I'm just gonna remove the entire leaf. There you go. I'm not really sure about this one. It looks very yellow but maybe I'll keep it for now and we'll see what happens although this one I'm going to cut off I'm going to cut off it like that I'm going to spray it with alcohol first I'm going to spray everything with alcohol uh, keep it there for about 30 seconds because I want to peel to peel to kill the mealies. You're gonna make the orchid drunk. I'm gonna make the orchid drunk, yes. So I'm gonna leave this here to sit for a little bit while I go dump the, uh, the tray. And this orchid is going to sit here and get drunk. So there. You don't want to leave it for too long because your orchid's going to get drunk. Um, <laughs> and um, it's going to start soaking in that alcohol. But you need to leave, leave it for about 20-30 seconds so it can kill all the bugs and bacteria. So I'm going to go and dump this and I will be back. Alright, so it's been probably about a minute. Um, so I'm just going to spray this with water. Yep, so I'm also cleaning the roots too, but what I'm going to do next is I'm also going to spray everything with hydrogen peroxide. So it's going to sit there for about another minute or two. I'm taking every precaution because this one is infested. I have my hydrogen peroxide in a bottle. I have everything in a spray bottle just because it's easier to miss things. And it uh, has better coverage and also doesn't waste that much. It will help with the wounds that I just cut into the uh, to the roots. So wherever I cut it, the roots are kind of sizzling or bubbling. So I'm going to spray very generously. I don't usually do this for my healthy orchids or the orchids that um, are healthy, but this one is not in the best condition, so. I'm going to take every precaution. It's going to sit here for about a minute or two while I trim off some of these leaves that I saw. I will say hi to my sister. <laughs> She's visiting me today. So I think I'll cut this one off. Maybe this way. Yeah. 
in this one. I'm just gonna cut across. It's gonna look ugly, but that's okay. And say spray a little peroxide right there into the wounds. It never hurts. None of my plants have died yet from the peroxide. <laughs> So it's gonna sit there for another two minutes while I, my sister and I take a uh, soda break and then we'll be back in a little bit. All right, it's been about two or three minutes so I'm just gonna spray this with water. Okay, right, I'm just gonna try to fit her in here. So I think I'm done. I put moss on the top just to keep the humidity in and um, there are some exposed roots which I don't want to dry out too much. I'm going to put this in front of a fan to dry it out so I don't get crown rot. I'm going to also use a paper towel to dab that so it's going to be dry. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna put it in the south facing window and then just keep it away from the other orchids as well. Cause I don't know if it still has mealies in it or not. I'm gonna watch it and see. And um, that's all. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.